Can you guess what number this is? And this? Well, the number is not encoded or something like that. It's rendered like an actual number. This, for example, is number 1, and this is the letter A. And here's how it works. So, someone called Matt Sarnoff created a font where numbers and letters can be just 1 pixel wide and 5 pixels tall. In order to figure out how this font works, we first need to understand what pixels are made of. You see, pixels on your display are not actually square. Each pixel is in fact made of 3 subpixels, red, green and blue. And the color of the pixel is determined by the brightness of each subpixel. So if you want the pixel to be red, you just turn off the green and blue, so that only the red one is on. And if you want yellow, you can turn on the red and green, which together make yellow when mixed. Now that we know how a pixel works, we can create our own pixel where each subpixel is a separate rectangle. And we can hide or show these rectangles to imitate how colors are mixed. And if you look at this number again, you can see that each pixel on it has a specific color. And by its color we can extrapolate which subpixel is on and which one is not. So a yellow pixel has a red and green on it. And these three are just green, so only the green subpixel is on. And this is white, so all three subpixels are on. And now if we look at this shape, we can see that this looks like the number 1. In the same way we can figure out the rest of the characters. Let's take a look at this one. On the top, uh, the middle and the bottom pixels are white, so we're going to enable all of the subpixels in it. And these two are purple, which means that we will have to just disable the green one and leave the green and blue. And now it looks like number 8. Now let's try this one. In this character you can see that top pixel is white, so we leave all of the subpixels on. And the rest of the pixels are green, which means that only the green one is enabled. And now it looks like letter T. I will attach the link to the font in description below, so you can try it by yourself.